Talk me to the vet. Yeah, so here on your vet, I've said eight weeks, 12 weeks, 15 weeks for the shots, then wait two more weeks for the radio shot. They're used to big dogs. You know, there's hundreds of thousands more golden retrievers on the market than there are hundreds of Japanese in play. So they're used to, you know, the second vaccination, third vaccination, and just doing the rabies at the same time. With a small breed dog, it can overwhelm their system. So anyone experienced with small breed dogs should know better. And typically you pay for the rabies vaccination when you get the third vaccination, and then you just come back two weeks later, just walk and get the shot block and get anybody you think. You know, that type of thing. Uh, it's pretty standard. Which vets you go? Which you go? Were you signed up at um, Lincoln Veterinary? They're down the street from us. And yeah, it's always... So it's like, okay, we might as well. We used to go there with my families. One guy's left. Yeah, isn't that awful? Our guy died of old age. Oh, like, yeah. you know, leave your old. Yeah. And they're also, there's a shortage of vets in Ontario. As an added bone. The shortage of everything except guys at the street corner begging for money. Yeah. Other than that, it's pretty much a shortage. That's a political conversation <laughs> for another time. Obedience training, so we've started it, you continue it. Uh, hey, all the what are you doing? Needed. There's, There's nothing to eat here. there. <laughs> fire, the cool house, you silly goose. Uh, who's walking who? Silly, silly, who silly. You, silly. you can go look at their website, even if you don't go to them, yeah. you can look and read their site and look for something similar in the area if you don't want to schluck, you know. Yeah, because it's pretty far. Well, I mean, I'm driving to Ajax. I jump on the 407 and I drive to Ajax. Half an hour. I mean, well, because 407 to, you know, to uh, Brock Road. Okay. Brock Road down to the 401. 401 is one exit to Westley, and it's on Westley. That's it. Okay. You know, so it's easy. It's just a schluck to go from here to Brock Road. But it's on the 407, so it's pretty straight sailing. Right. They have places south. I just don't want to go south. I'd rather go to Ajax than deal with traffic. Yeah, they actually do downtown. still have one open, oh, right? Yeah, one downtown. downtown. Yeah. I think I don't think they're in Urban Dog. I think they're in Vic Park area. Really? Yeah. But it says on the website. You can look on the website. But there are a million other places. But like PetSmart is terrible. There are bad training facilities also. Okay. Just as like there's an explosion of dogs and the lack of vets and everything else. There's an explosion of training schools with a lot of useless training and useless people. You know, we tried a, a dozen different schools before we settled on who's walking who. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we we're, weren't quite happy with them. Uh, and that's after, they can start after their second, second shot. Their second yeah. shot? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can, you, you're going to have to book it now. Like, yeah, you know, okay. Like, I know with who's walking who, they're already booked up anytime soon. Okay. You know, it's all full. They only have six <laughs> dogs in a class and two instructors. Another oh, good wow. thing. Yeah. They don't overload it, you know. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the dogs aren't getting attention. I don't know. We're in some places where there's you know, like 12, 14 dogs. The refrigerator. And a couple of people at the other end, and it's a big mess. Yeah, that's what I, I've been in PetSmart a few times. Yeah, well, there, they're, they're up and down the aisles. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Really like, oh it's just, it doesn't work. Hello. PetSmart used to be configured different, where they had a center square where they did their classes inside the square. Oh, okay. Then they changed their store configurations and discounted oh. that. And now they do their classes down the aisles. Yeah, that's what they do. Oh, really yeah, last time I saw it, it was still that. Yeah. yeah. The configuration. Yeah. Nami, are you being a bit sucky? <laughs> She's cleaning her puppy while letting them rub her belly. Yeah. Yeah, there's no asking. If they're in the shirt, I would get to take them out. And I'll send all the families to your place <laughs> and do a spiel. <laughs> Have you got it memorized now? You bet. Yeah. Spaying and neutering. Nine oh, okay. to twelve months, not five, six months. Okay. Five and a half months from now, your vet will be calling you. Yeah. Uh, at five and a half months. Oh, it's time to move your dog. It's not. Okay. And don't let them scare you, don't let them intimidate. There's no reason for it that he can back up with scientific data. Nine to twelve months, bone growth, hormone development. There's stuff going on. Don't do it in five months. Okay. Um, and it's issues. easy for a boy, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. they recover in two days. Okay. Uh, teeth issues. Sometimes teeth don't fall out, and they remove them when they're neutered. So they're while they're under, they deal with them. But our lines typically all the teeth do fall out. You know. When when should that happen? Twelve months or your teeth? Yeah, falling out. Uh, chai. 
Do you remember? Have you seen China? I think so. Yeah. I don't know if you've. No. Okay. Okay. All her teeth, puppy teeth, gone. Okay. Oh, and all of her adult okay. teeth. Most of her adult teeth are in. Some are still growing in me. Yeah. Five and a half months. Do they end up swallowing them by accident when they're eating? Sometimes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just telling Dal. I got one that I picked up out of her mouth yesterday. I said, what are you chewing? Give me that. And she spit it out and it was a tooth. And, uh, <laughs> she would have ate it. Alex has done that. Yeah. 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 Well, we pass it, though. You know, human, it's car, you know, it's uh, calcium. calcium. Yeah. <laughs> not carbon. It's not carbon. carbon. We're in carbon. Oh, yeah. It's a carbon-based life form. Anyway, remember your puppy's been through a big change. Do expect him to be a little bit confused and hesitant when he goes into the house, so it's slow. Remember, guys, no loud noises or sudden movements that scares a puppy. Everything's calm. Also, you come with little dogs, you come to them underneath.